Saving and loading are essential operations when it comes to any digital project. Knowing the difference between the types of save files you can create in ZBrush will make all the difference in the world. If you only want to save your 3D model or your tool, then you're going to use the Z tool Save As. This will save your tool, all associated subtools, and tool based settings, such as subdivisions, UV maps, poly paints, textures, dynamic subdivision. If it lives within the tool palette, it will be saved when you save out a Z tool. This is a lighter file type but it will not save your undo history and any project settings. To do so, all you have to do is hit the Save As button right here in the tool palette. To load a subtool into your project, simply hit Load Tool and you'll be prompted to find your Z tools. Go ahead and select them and there we have it. You can even load tools directly from inside of a ZBrush project using this button right here. Next, you need to know how to save out the entire project. This includes all of your subtools instead of just one, any special settings you might have, brushes you have loaded, and everything like that. This is especially important if you have a lot of complex projects that are all different from each other, and they all have different settings and UIs that you need to work your best way, and you don't want to reset those settings manually every time you start again. Part of what makes saving a project so special is that you can also save out the undo history. It's like you never close ZBrush once you load up a project. To do so, you're going to go to File and Save As. This is where we find all of our project saving capabilities. If you turn on Undo History, all of the Undo History will be saved along with the project. If you don't want that to bloat your file, simply turn it off. Once I hit Save As, I'll be able to save this project out. To load up the project, all you have to do is go to File, Open, and choose your project file, and let it load. Don't forget that the more settings, history, tools you have, the larger your file will be. Keep in mind that most other software do not read subtools and ZBrush projects, so you will have to export your work in a way that is compatible using OBJs or FBX or similar types of files. To do so, all you have to do is hit export here in the tool panel, and you will be able to pick the file type you'd like to export, including your FBX, your GoZ files, Maya, and all of that stuff. Similarly, to import those kinds of files, simply hit the import button right here in the tool panel. Last but not least, we cannot forget the wonderful world of quick save files. If you ever lose some work or want to restore an old version of your project, quick saves are your best bet. They are ZBrush's way of automatically saving your work on an incremental basis on a timer, so it's fully automatic. To find the settings, you go to Preferences and Quick Save right here. You can choose how often it quick saves, so the default is 20 minutes. The rest duration means how long do you want ZBrush to idle before it saves a quick save? For example, if you go watch a YouTube video or something, you can choose to skip the history to make the quick save files a little bit smaller. You can choose to optimize, which I have turned on to make them a little bit smaller as well. And of course, you can choose how many quick save files you can have. So if you have unlimited storage, you can go crazy with it. You can also delete all your quick save files, but use this sparingly. To access your quick saves, all you have to do is hit the comma key on your keyboard or the light box button to pull up your light box. And up here in the little tabs, you're going to find quick save. Click that and you will have a, the wonderful world of all your backed up projects right here. You can also manually save a quick save file by hitting the quick save button up here. I use this a lot whenever my project is at a stopping point or I'm about to do a really heavy function or something like that. I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to save your work!